welcome guys to a new video where we're gonna see together five Italian slang words and uh, just before we start a tiny update the situation here in Italy is improving it seems restaurants are opening I see people driving around a lot so it seems that the situation is improving and it's actually nice but I will keep you updated and let's see together now the five Italian slang words. Before we start, remember to use these kind of words in a very careful way because they are not always polite. So be careful that you use them in the right context and not in a formal way because it wouldn't be appropriate. Mannaggia, mannaggia, damn, mannaggia ho rotto il bicchiere, damn, I broke the glass, mannaggia like cavolo is a very common expletive and is most often used alone or with another phrase that explains why you are upset like for example uh, imagine you are uh, traveling in Rome and you say mannaggia ho perso il portafoglio mannaggia ho perso il portafoglio damn I lost my wallet that's what it means okay number two is che palle che palle which is what a pain. Literally it means what? Balls? But basically the real meaning is of course how boring or this sucks or what a pain in the ass. This is the kind of expression, right? So be careful when you use it, but it's not too bad, okay? Dobbiamo fare tutte quelle scale? Che palle! Do we have to climb all those stairs? What a pain! Non voglio andare a scuola domani. Che palle. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. What a pain in the That's the expression, okay? It's not, as I said, super unpolite. It's um, colloquial. You can use it with friends. You will hear it many times. So it's not too bad, but be careful in the context where you use it. Meno male. Thank God. Meno male. Thank God. Its translation means less bad but it's used like thank god so you can you can say for example ho passato l'esame meno male ho passato l'esame meno male i passed the exam thank god you can also literally say thank god which is grazie a dio okay which has the same meaning of meno male so grazie a dio in this case will be the same number four is ci becchiamo ci becchiamo catch you in italian to say catch you later catch you around we use the verb beccarsi ci becchiamo dopo catch you later ci becchiamo in giro catch you around ci becchiamo dopo ci becchiamo in giro the verb beccare literally means to peck you know like <laughs> for the birds Number five is che fregatura, what a ripoff. Che fregatura, you will hear it many times. Che fregatura. A fregatura is a ripoff, a scam, a fraud. 50 euro per quella camicia, che fregatura. 50 dollars for that shirt, what a ripoff. So remember it, it's going to be very useful. Che fregatura. This is something you may hear in the tips they give you before coming to cities like Rome, Milan, etc. To be careful not to be fregati, ripped off. So, fregatura, che fregatura, what a ripoff, and essere fregati, to be ripped off, okay? Remember that. So, I wish you a great week. I'm gonna see you the next week with more uh, tips uh, and words in Italian to get your fundamentals right before you dive into the natural method and keep learning the right way. Remember you have a free gift in the description if you want to download it. It's a free dialogue for starters from our uh, really popular phase zero. And uh, if you enjoyed these videos, you can subscribe to the channel for free and check the other videos that we are producing for you. I wish you a great week. I hope you and your family are safe and uh, I'll see you in the next video.